When we announced back the game at E3 in 2015, it was really stressful, but really exciting. When we showed the game at E3 2015, the reception was, was mind-blowing, and this, is, this really surprised us. People loved it, the queuing was huge, so this is when we knew that we had something special. The outcome was, wow, it was massive. We played live at the E3 conference, at the Ubisoft press conference. From there till launch, we had tons of closed alpha, open beta. The game was almost constantly live before launch. We had the open beta that was the second most successful open beta at Ubisoft. Then we had a huge launch, great success internally, uh, more than one million players on the first day. It was an amazing launch for the game. It's really funny to go to an E3 while you're a live game that's released almost two years ago. It's like, oh, we go back to E3, but do we have something big enough? And we really think we do. This year at E3, we're really excited to showcase Breach. Breach, it's a new 4v4 PvP game mode that fulfill the biggest medieval fantasy. Attacking and defending a castle is something that we always wanted to achieve. So there is a team of attackers that need to breach inside the castle with their massive battering ram escorted and destroy gates after gates to go inside the castle and kill the leader of the castle. The defending team needs to protect their castle. They have archers, they need to destroy the enemy siege tower, they need to destroy the enemy battering ram and eventually protect their leader to be able to defeat the enemy team. We wanted to push that fantasy a step further and also we wanted to give a more strategical game mode with more depth. That's the biggest inspiration behind Bridge. So with Marching Fire, we're releasing a new faction, the Wulin. The Wulin are fighters that are coming from the east. It's the Chendi. The Chendi is the Royal Guard. He's fighting with the Dao. And the other one is the Shaolin. And the Shaolin has that iconic staff and with a lot of Kung Fu moves. He's a really fun character to play with. So we have 18 heroes uh, now into the game. Balance is one of the biggest subjects, one of the biggest challenge because you need to have each hero's balance against each other in duel, but also in group fight. To create a fighter, we always start with the weapon, defining what's going to be the weapon and what's going to be the martial art and so the play style and all the abilities of that, uh, of that weapon. One of the things we're doing now uh, to uh, improve our balancing and how we make the game is we're doing Rift. It's rapid iterative fight tests and it's a private build that uh, we're only shipping to the core community top players we're working with. We're using Uplay with our top players and we give them access to a private test uh, server with private builds where they are able to test the modification in terms of balancing or new fighters or new game mode in advance and then discuss with us on those, uh, on those changes and provide us with feedback. If the community feels a hero is overpowered, for example, even if it's not on the data and this is more frustration balancing. So we have to take all of that into account to do a good balancing for our heroes and for our game. We're so excited to reveal uh, our new content at E3 because it's big, because something we wanted to do since a long time, and it's also something that the player is requesting, so for us it's like big time. So I'm really super excited to go at E3 and showcase the new game mode breach, the new Woolen Fighter, and see the reaction of the community. And I can't wait to put that in the end of the player this October with the Marching Fire update.